hello friends welcome to the 77th session of hybris tutorial guys in this session we are going to learn a very important but very least explored topic the topic is classification system in sap hybris we are going to learn what are the classification system in hybris what is the use of classification system in hybris and then how we can create a classification attribute in hybris guys before starting anything i just want to show a very brief demo of the classification system in sap hybris so that you can understand the use or the importance of classification system so guys i am going to the back office so you can see i am going to the back office and why i am able to open the back office or hsc or the storefront electronic storefront because i have done the b2c accelerator setup in my system in case you have not done the b2c accelerator setup in your system you can watch our video the link of video is given in the description description box as well as on the top right corner in the card section so you can watch that video and can also do the setup in your system as well but for now i have already done the setup that is why i am able to open the back office or other cockpits okay so i am going to the back office and guys i have opened one product so i am on the products currently so you can see this is the article number i am using okay and over here guys if you carefully see if i go to the category system okay so i do have multiple categories okay so what i will do guys i will just remove this samsung category okay i will just remove this samsung category and i will save this now i will go to the attributes tab i am going to the attributes tab and over here i will try to search with the keyword hybris tube you can see i am not able to search anything there is no attribute with the name hybris tube okay but now guys what i do i just add one uh, one category over here i am adding the category as samsung okay so i am adding this category samsung okay as soon as guys i add this category samsung and i save this okay i save this product and if i go back to the attributes now and refresh it i'm refreshing it and now if i search for the keyword hybris tube you can see i have now a attribute with the name hybris tube custom attribute and this is the value test well is its value okay so this means this new attribute is getting reflected as soon as i am adding the category samsung with the product model so guys this is the category classification concept so guys i hope now you have a blur idea what is classification system in hybris right so it this means there is some attribute which gets created at runtime right as soon as i add a particular category in a particular model if i remove this samsung category again you can see i'm removing the samsung category again and if i search for this attribute right i am searching for this attribute hybris tube that you can see now it is no longer present with this product right so i hope now you understand what is the classification system so this is just a demo example but how i have created this whole structure how i have implemented this functionality that i am going to tell you in this video i hope this topic is very interesting for you this topic is very least explored but it is used very frequently in the current hybris projects so this video is going to be very informative for you and guys i have uploaded the complete notes of this topic on the drive so you can also get the link to this drive by clicking on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and you can also get the complete notes related to this topic this is a very important topic so guys now we will start learning how this concept is implemented and before that guys we will just write the basic definitions of classification system which we have learned so far first thing about the classification system is this concept allows us adding the attributes in runtime 
using the impex without requiring any type system change so that's the very important thing guys if you see in a traditional way i have already covered the traditional way in one of the video if you have not watched that video you can watch the video of how you can add a new attribute in already existing item type let's say we are opening the product item type this is the product item type and how you want how you can add a new uh, you know attribute into the product item type i have already covered this concept in one of the video if you have not watched that video you can watch the video the link of video is given in the description box as well as on the top right corner in card section so you can watch that video and can see how i can add a new attribute into existing item type so for that if you remember we had to do the changes in our item.xml for example let's say we have the item.xml training core item.xml so we had to do the changes in the uh, in the training core item.xml if we wanted to add the new attribute in in a in a particular item type let's say uh, my requirement is my requirement is requirement is i want to i want to add a new attribute color okay color at this is the attribute name color in the product item type so how i uh, in the traditional way how i use to achieve this requirement i used to do the changes do the changes in in star item dot xml file star items dot xml file for example in our case we used to do the changes in the training core item dot xml file we would do the changes over here like this we would add a new item type like this item type code right and there we would be defining the new attribute right so we would be doing the changes in the item dot xml file but guys when we used to do uh, or when we used to follow this approach right what we had to do we had to firstly build the project we had to firstly bring the server down firstly bring the server down right uh, if it is already up if it is already up then what we had to do we had to build the project we had to build the project so that the corresponding model classes could also get generated we had to build the project third is what we had to do we had to we had to bring the server up again server up again and then finally we had to perform the we had to perform the system update so these are the changes guys which we had to do in order to create a new attribute into the existing item type for example in the product item type but guys just carefully notice while doing this these uh, steps we had to bring our server down we had to you know perform the uh, we had to perform build the project and then we had to bring our server up again and uh, then we had to perform the system update so this these steps will take a lot of time but what will happen if i want to you know generate a new attribute at runtime without bringing the server down right without performing the system update how can i achieve this so requirement is requirement is i want to i want to add a new new attribute attribute in product item type i want to add a new attribute in product item type new attribute in product item type right without bringing the server down server down without building the project and without forming the system update without performing the system update or you can say in short i want to create a new attribute at runtime 
at runtime. So how can I achieve this requirement? So guys, to achieve this requirement, the solution is solution is solution is you can use the you can use the classification category concept category concept to achieve this requirement so i hope now you have a crystal clear idea what is the use of classification category concept right what is the benefit of this concept over the traditional way of adding a new attribute into the existing right existing uh, item type and other benefit which i want to tell is guys if you can say uh, let's say my requirement is my requirement is I want to add a new attribute in product item type okay in uh, let's say I want to add a new attribute in product item type but not on all products okay uh, let's say I want to add a new attribute let's say color okay color uh, this is this should be the attribute right in which item type or in in which uh, uh, in which table product item type right but i don't want this color attribute to be displayed on all products right let's say uh, if you see over here in the back office we have the thousands of products over here right here so you can see we have many products over here so my requirement is i want to display this color attribute not on all products not on all products but on very few products only okay okay but on very few products only but on very few products only few products only okay which which few products which few products products which have a products which have a products which have a specific have a specific category added as a super category of that product super category super category okay so let's say uh, i open a product let's say i open a product this product okay so what's let's say what is my requirement i want a particular attribute color attribute to be displayed only for the products which has a super category let's say snow okay only for those uh, products i want to you know show this new attribute uh, color otherwise if uh, if a second product doesn't have this category that attribute should not be displayed okay so this is my requirement so just think whether this requirement is possible to achieve with this traditional way or not no this is not possible if you want to add this attribute a new attribute using this traditional approach that new attribute will be added to all the products not on a single right not on a um, individual products or not on a particular product right that attribute will be added to all the products but if you want to add a particular attribute based on a condition like if that product has that particular category associated then show that attribute otherwise doesn't show like i showed you in this example as well right i showed you uh, that um, there was a hybrid tube attribute present in the attribute section as soon as i was removing that samsung category it was getting uh, this um, attribute that attribute was getting removed right as soon as i used to add that samsung category if that product was uh, there uh, that attribute was there uh, in that product item type right so i hope now you understand what is the use of classification system in hybris right so this concept is very very important guys and how you can achieve this concept so now we are going to learn how we can achieve this requirement so guys how you can achieve this requirement for that we have a very important file guys this is the eclipse editor guys this is a demo video in which we have explained the functional concepts related to this topic in case you want to see the 
technical implementation technical implementation means how actually you can implement the classification system concept in hybris what all are the steps to implement the classification system you can watch our member specific video by clicking on the link which is given in the comment section of this video you can become our member and then you can have access to this full 40 minutes member specific video so just click on the link which is given in the comment section of this video and become our member and get the access to this member specific video So you can see uh, these are the values which are getting saved for example this is the hybris tube attribute which we have defined so here you can see the whole mapping is also saved like test tube we had given the value right and for which product this product so whole mapping is saved in this table this question is also asked very frequently like in which table this value is saved in this is saved in the product features table and the attributes are saved in classification attrs table okay so i hope guys now you have a very crystal clear concept clarity related to the classification system in hybris and guys if you have still have any questions please feel free to email us on amandeep in java hybris at gmail.com we will reply to your queries and guys if you like this video please share this video with your friends thank you for watching bye